Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to walk you through some practice problems related to accounting rules and regulation. So let's dive on in. First up, a true or false. Public corporations in the United States are required to follow a set of accounting rules known as U.S. GAAP. True or false? Take a moment, think about it. When you're ready, come back and I'll walk through the solution. All right, welcome back. Public corporations are required to follow a set of accounting rules known as U.S. GAAP. That is true. U.S. GAAP stands for United States Generally Accepted Accounting Principles. And in other countries, you might have their own version of quote unquote local gap, their local generally accepted accounting principles. And many countries follow international um, uh, accounting principles known as IFRS. But in the US, we follow US gap. All right, next up, accounting regulators. Which of the following are organizations responsible for accounting regulation and or standard setting in the United States, and I give you four options. So take a moment, pause, see if you can get the right answer or answers. Come back when you're ready and I'll talk through the solution. All right, welcome back. So going in order of these, which are responsible for accounting regulation and or standard setting in the United States? The IASB is not responsible for these items in the United States. The IASB is responsible for the international financial reporting standards that are followed by many other countries, but not the United States. The SEC is definitely one of the responsible parties. They are the ones legally responsible for setting standards, but they delegate that authority out and they focus more on enforcing the rules. C, CPA. CPA stands for Certified Public Accountant. This is the licensure you have to get in order to perform independent audits of companies. These are not responsible for setting the rules. And then finally, D, the FASB. FASB stands for the Financial Accounting Standards Board. This is the group that the SEC has delegated standard setting authority to in the United States. So in this case, the SEC and the FASB are the two relevant parties for standard setting and regulation in the United States. All right, I hope you did okay with those and I hope you learned something. Please join me for another video.